Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're drawing a woolly mammoth, which is an animal that was alive during the last ice age. To start, we're going to draw the trunk. I'm doing that by drawing two backwards J's right next to each other and then connecting them with a little curved line. Now at the top of each of those J's, draw two small curved lines. And now I'm gonna draw the tusk by going up and around and then back over until I touch the trunk, right like that. Okay, watch on this side now, down and around in a curved line and then at a point, go back around following that line until I touch the trunk. Now, I'm going to add the head. So I draw two curved lines going up and around, then I'm gonna connect, draw the ears, the other side, and now the top. So I'm making an M, and now I'm just adding some decoration. So I'm gonna go make a curved rainbow line, and then two more half rainbows. You don't have to get three if you only make one or two, that's fine. To finish, we need to draw his body. So I'm gonna make some small, curved, almost like hill lines. Make sure you don't go through the tusks, both sides. And connect them at the bottom with a straight line. Now that we have most of our woolly mammoth, let's add some details. I'm gonna divide it in half at the bottom and then draw their feet, curved lines. And now I need to add the eyes. So two straight lines, connect some curved lines going down below. And now I'm drawing another line inside. And I'm gonna fill it in kind of in like a U shape until there's a little part that's still white. That's my pupil. Right now I'm adding curved lines to the trunk just to show that it has some body to it, that it's round and because it's kind of like wrinkly. So we want to show that. Now I'm adding the background. So draw a straight line that goes across your paper, but don't draw through the body. And then I'm adding kind of like an ice cliff because they were alive during the Ice Age. If you guys have seen the movie Ice Age, then you know. You can change it if you want. This is just what I'm choosing to draw. Now that all of our outlining is done, we're gonna start coloring in our picture. To start, I have a brown marker and I'm gonna outline all the body parts of my woolly mammoth. I'm using marker because I want to show texture. And so in a little bit with a white crayon, we're gonna add texture. Texture is what something feels like. And woolly mammoths were really furry and they had a lot of hair and we wanna show that. So before we use the white crayon, I'm using a brown marker to outline all the parts of my woolly mammoth that are going to be hairy. I'm doing it first because if I did this after I used the crayon, all the waxy crayon would get on the tip of my marker and it would ruin my marker and I don't want that. So I'm just going around and outlining it. I'm not coloring it in all the way. Make sure you get the ears and the top the only part I don't want to color in is the tusk. So be careful. We want that to stay white as we can. When you're done with marker, find a white crayon 
and begin adding small, short, white lines all over your woolly mammoth. This will show the texture of our animal. Now, usually texture is what something feels like, but since we're drawing a picture, you can't really feel that, but we can use crayon to make it look like it's the texture of hair. So go all over your woolly mammoth, adding short lines. If you're not sure if you've done an area, go over it again. Do not be shy. Don't forget the trunk. Before we finish our woolly mammoth, let's do the background. I'm using crayons and lots of different blues layered over each other to create the ice. Now, even though woolly mammoths may sound like they were huge animals, you know, mammoths, scientists think they were actually the size of modern day elephants. They were plant eaters, and scientists think they went extinct either due to being hunted by people disease, or because a change in the climate made it too hard for them to survive. When I'm done with my ice, I'm going to move on to that ice cliff behind me. One way you can add texture is by adding different colors. So I'm going to layer purple and blue over top of each other just to make my picture more interesting to look at. Instead of using one color, I'm gonna use two, or maybe you even wanna use three, just to give it more depth and body. See how much richer the color is now. Kind of like when ice starts glittering in the sunlight, that's what I want it to look like. That's the texture I want my ice wall to have behind my mammoth. I forgot a spot. I'll just add it in real fast. Don't forget the sky. Even though I'm using blue again, I'm using my crayon very lightly so it looks different than the ice all around it. Time to finish our mammoth. I have a cup of water and just a regular paintbrush. Slowly begin wetting that marker. See how I'm running my paintbrush along the marker first to get it wet? That's gonna act kind of like watercolor that I can then go back over and color in my mammoth with. And when I do that, you can start to see that white crayon that we had used earlier. At first it was invisible, but now when we go over it with the brown, we start to see the texture of our woolly mammoth. I'm gonna go all over, being careful not to get in the tusk. Remember, those stay white. So be very careful, use your paintbrush, carefully and gently, it should dance over your colors. So when we use a paintbrush, we wanna hold it lightly. Think of it dancing over the surface of your paper. If you push it down really hard, your paintbrush is gonna have a bad hair day and you don't want that to happen. You want your paintbrush tiptoeing like a ballerina. So be careful and fill in all those spaces until we see the texture of our woolly mammoth. It's gonna get a whole lot hairier up in here. There you have it, your woolly mammoth with its textured coat. When you're finished with the water, leave it flat to dry.